Yeah. Yeah. This is Brew 30! Brew 30, sort of. Uh, we're not in the traditional location, which kind of sucks, but maybe I can edit in something back here. Um, if not, it's still Brew 30. Brew 30 is wherever we make it. Um, you know it. So, I got this beer today from a friend of ours, hopefully a guest on the show pretty soon. And um, I who? thought, I thought, uh, who? Who? Uh, Sean. Oh, right on. Or actually, maybe we should not use his name. All oh, right. We'll the call Dugan. him the Dugan. I'll blow that other part out. So the Dugan gave me this beer, yeah. and um, it's a 9.7 alcohol. It's um, it's just I don't even know what it is. It, it looks pretty good. It's made by Eel Riving River Eel Riving Eel River Brewing Company. Let me try and there we go. No, other way. There we go. Eel River Brewing Company, and uh, it's got a pretty cool label. It's called a uh, Triple Exaltation. Exaltation. Um, I've never had it. He said it's really good. And uh, Triple X for short, I guess. Triple X. Yeah, right. um, it says on the back, a rich caramelized sugar character with a delicate roasted note balanced by an aroma of reminiscent of toffee and ripe fruit. If you think Triple X Sultation is a good now, we recommend aging it. Its characteristics become more complex over time. Oh. Okay. Well, so you're supposed to age it? I guess not necessarily. Um, it's asking to keep it at 55. I had it in the freezer for about five or six minutes before we did this, so hopefully the temperature's right. I would, didn't read that, but um, I actually opened it a little bit earlier when he gave it to me because I thought we were going to drink it together, but apparently not. So you can see the little divot in there. So it's a little bit partially open, so I didn't know if it was going to hold till Friday when we could do this. So it's Tuesday right now. So we're just going to do it right now. We're going to have them on the show and then... Why don't you open that for me? On uh, Friday and we'll just get in there, but where did you get it? Uh, Costco. Oh, see? Oh. Yeah. So yeah. So, yeah. Got it at Costco. I'm not sure how much, but it said it's really good. So we're here to test this out and see, uh, see how this goes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, if I didn't uh, mean to use uh, the whole beer. No, it's cool. Why not? I don't know. Yeah. I guess you can't really preserve it. What? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's try. Drink it. Mmm. That's really good. It is pretty good. I like that. Where is it from? Eel River. I wonder where it's at. It says a rich caramelized sugar character with a delicate roasted note balanced by an aroma reminiscent of toffee and ripe fruit. If you think triple ex exaltation is good now, we recommend... Oh, you already yeah, read, that. I read that. You read that whole thing <laughs> yeah, I read the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to make uh, sure to realize <laughs> what happened, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I missed something. I don't, I don't remember you reading the first paragraph. Eel River Brewing Company. Okay, here we go. Scotia, California? I've never heard of Scotia, California. There's a lot of places I haven't heard of in California. Yeah, it's probably some little podunk town. It's pretty dark. Um, it's pretty cloudy as well. It's a 9.7 though, but I mean, I've had... Well, like hoptologist and or not hopped out the hop range is l like clearer than this. This is pretty, pretty hop range. Uh, Jack Daniels. Yeah. So compared to the hop range Jack D, I think that one's still way better. That one was really good. This like is this really, is close. It's this close is very good. Flavor with the sweetness at the end, yeah. but not as not not like Jack Daniels. That just tastes good like though. candy to me. The Jack D, the hop, uh, hop range? Yeah. Yeah, this is good though. It's really good. I yeah, mean, it's really good. It's complex. At least it doesn't cost $20 a bottle. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's probably five or six, maybe. You know, most craft beers oh, are like, like six, six bucks. It's a good beer. Probably gonna have to do it again. I, I'd buy it again. 
I would too. If we were doing like a, if we were doing like, let's just say, let's just say if we were doing like a beer show, like on YouTube or something, like maybe right now. If we were I would doing totally that, have it on the show. Like I would have it on the show, yeah. But I mean, if we were having like a beer show that we were that we were that we were recording right now to put on YouTube, um, I would have like a uh, like a like a scoring system, and like. There would be little beers at the bottom. This one would get like three beers out of five. Oh, like a ranking. But we won't do that because we're brute thirty. A three out of five? Why not like a seven out of ten? I always like the ten stars better than five. That leaves more room for, yeah, I guess seven out of ten. I'd, I'd lean, I'd lean more towards like a. Four out of ten. A four out of ten. But four you just said a three out of five. I know, but that's that's yeah, but like that's like a six out of a ten at least. No, I'd go four. Really? Like a four out of a ten. The ratio would mean that it was. Six I'm not out of good 10. at math. <laughs> but, you double. <laughs> no, I'm not talking. I'm not. I'm not talking right, math. Right, I'm talking right. little bottles of beers and how many others. If, if we're going ten, there'd be four out of ten. What would, would be Jack like what would Jack D be? On a scale of 1 to 10 beers. I would honestly... Dude, I don't know. That, I... I, I almost want to say that that is like... A 9? Or a 10? Dude, I think that might... I don't, I don't want to say it because I'm probably missing something or skipping something that I can't remember. Like, I mean... Like... Dude, even counting barley wines, I think that's like the best beer I've ever had. It was really good. Like, and I don't, I hate to say that because it was almost like, like my life is now fulfilled. And now like, I feel like we got to go on this we'll journey. We'll say there's like, a nine. We got to make the journey longer. Yeah. So for the sake of the journey not ending or like, you well, know. Well, there's so many beers. That's what I'm saying. As of right no now, way. as of right now, it's a 10. But that's subject but, to change. But that's why I want to almost make it a 9. Because, like, I'm hoping that 10 is still out there, you know? Like, that, there's that big fish that, you, that it's out there, you know? I got to catch it. It's out there. I mean, you know? You want to finish this off? Sure. Yeah, I, I can't drink it four at the same time, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, big fish out there, little bottles of beers. We won't do that though, because that's too complicated, and I can't. I'm not that good at editing. Well, it's just video. Oh. Yeah. So what, what would you give it? I mean, I, I'm saying four out of ten. That was such a good beer. That was really such a good beer that I would probably, like like you, I don't want to say full on ten because because. When you give something a 10, you're saying without a doubt, you know, you like know definitive. that that is, that the is the best beer. it's going to get. And I can't say that because I haven't had that many beers. I'll give it an 8 or 9. You're giving this an 8 out of 10? The Jack D? No, this. Oh, this. Oh, this. I'd say uh, 4 or 5. 4 or 5. So the Jack D is like an 8 or 9? I'd probably just say 5. Uh, Jack D is an eight or a nine. Yeah, I would say this is a five or six, because this kind of reminds me, and I don't know. It, yeah, it does. No, I, I, it's the, it's got the the same like the end note, but without the without the honey, but it's still got that sweet end of thing, but it's got yeah. that spicy kick in the front of it. It kind of reminds me of um, Racer Five for some reason, but no, no, no. It's not an IPA. It's not an IPA, it, but like, there's something about it. That I don't like, even. I mean, is this just like an ale? Like what? I don't even know what this is. I don't know either. It's not. This video seems a little too long. Though. Yeah. We should probably end it. Probably. We're thirty. Eel River. Who knew? It's a river where you catch some eels. Dude, that's kind of gross. Did they like, is there like a river with eels where they get this water and that's why it's so muddy? 